Hi, my name is Matt. I'm the VP of Kanban here at Top Left. This video is going to be a crash course in how to set up a Kanban board. So if you've never set up a Kanban board uh, and you want to know how, this is the video for you. So the first thing that you're going to do is uh, go into your, your Kanban application under Boards. You're going to click Add Board. Then you're going to select which type of records do you want to see on this board, a ticket, project, opportunity, or activity. By the way, this is the ConnectWise mode. Uh, if you're using Autotask mode, it'll look a little different, but all uh, the equivalents are all there. Let's click Ticket. This page has three key sections. One is some general options about how this Kanban board is going to work. Then we're going to select the filters. That determines which tickets that we're actually going to see on this Kanban board. And then finally, we're going to set up the columns. So each Kanban board needs a name. <clears throat> These options have to do with uh, which fields appear on the cards on the Kanban board. You can select which custom fields to see and your swim lane. So the swim lane has to do with how the tickets are grouped together. A common choice is to see how tickets are assigned to uh, people. That means you see one group for each member in your team, essentially. Uh, you select the resource for that. Another common option is the project. So if you're going to be looking at your project work, you want to see how tickets are assigned. Uh, you want to see tickets by their project. Then that's the swim lane you want to use. Uh, let's come up here to filters. So this is where we select, um, we identify which tickets do we actually want to see on this board. So in ConnectWise mode here, sometimes the only option that you want to use is the ConnectWise board option. Uh, similar, similarly, if uh, we're Auto task mode, you might just want to select the queue. That would be totally fine. Uh, sometimes you don't need to select anything at all. In at least ConnectWise mode, I definitely recommend you select a ConnectWise board because uh, I'll explain why in just a minute. So let's say we want to see our help desk tickets. That's all we do. Uh, by the way, if you look through all of these options here, most, most of which you don't need, but um, let's say that you do go through here and you think, well, I want to see tickets from every priority. You might find yourself doing this and actually selecting every option here, but we don't need to do that. Um, if you don't, if you want to see everything, meaning you don't really, uh, you don't really even want to look at the priority, just leave it blank, and then that uh, that just includes everything. Uh, now, um, if we're satisfied with that, we can click columns, and this has to do with mapping how work flows through the team. Uh, now, by the way. Um, the reason I only see the statuses here that are on the, uh, the ConnectWise help desk board is because I selected it here. Uh, if I didn't select that, then I would get all of the statuses on all of the boards, which is kind of overwhelming. So that's why it's a good idea, at least in ConnectWise mode, to select the board there. Now I can create my columns. So I'll give it at some, you know, if it's just basic, maybe all you want to do is kind of uh, just look at the statuses that you already have. We're going to drag these statuses down in here. That's how Kanban works, is we look at the status of the ticket. And based on, on uh, how you've set up these columns and which statuses you've mapped to the columns, just by dragging them from here into here, then we know where to display that ticket on the Kanban board. So you can make it as simple or as complicated as you want. Simple option is usually just to look at the names of the statuses that you already have and uh, and think about kind of how does a ticket progress through that in its lifetime and lay those out left to right. And, uh, and give them names. The name of the column does not need to match the name of the status. You can name it whatever you want. Then just make sure that you, um, you don't have any tick statuses in here where you really want to see tickets that are in those statuses. Um, if you leave it up here in the unassigned section, you won't see those on the Kanban board. So you can use that to your advantage. That's a fine technique if you don't want to see them here. But just be aware, you don't want to do that by accident. <clears throat> so if I uh, set it up like that, there's a lot of other options here. I'm not going to discuss those in this quick video, but um, let's see what happens here. There we go. We got a pretty basic Kanban board showing us the stage of all these tickets that we identified. If you have any questions about that at all, always email help at topleft.team. And we'll make sure that we, uh, we help you understand what it is that you need to do with Kanban. Thanks for watching.